How's it going guys and gals? I'm about to go through Typhus's data sheet with you all. Stay tuned. talk about the badass itself, the Typhus. Typhus is essentially a more hardcore Lord of Contagion. So Typhus has a move of 5 inches, a weapon skill and ballistic skill both of 2 plus. Strength 4, toughness 5, 6 wounds, 6 attacks, leadership 9 and a 2 plus save. He is armed with a master crafted man reaper. Essentially it's exactly like the other man reaper except your cleave ability is damage 3. Uh, yeah. So he's got disease terminator armor. It's a 4 plus invulnerable save. He's got a host of the destroyer hive. In your command phase, you can select one enemy unit in 6 inches of the model and roll 1d6. With 2 plus a unit, something for 3 or 4. While a friendly Foxwalker's unit is within 6 inches of the model, each time a model in that unit makes an attack, add 1 to the strength characteristic of that attack. That is where, pop, where you take time for the Foxwalkers. He's an absolute beast. He buffs them up with that time bit <coughs> Excuse me. Well, a friendly Death Guard 4 unit is within 6 inches of this model. Each time a model in that unit makes an attack, re-roll a hit roll. You'll see this is a common one with a lot of the lords. Vector of Disease. Add 3 inches to the Contagion range of all Contagion abilities. This model has to a maximum of 12 inches. So Typhus is stuck being a Harbinger. Uh, sorry, st stuck being a Harbinger. Uh, you can only take a Warlord trait on him if he is the Warlord. If you look at the stratagem that gives your another character in your list a trait, it does say in there excluding named characters. So Typhus is named, so yeah. Think about that carefully if you want to have Typhus in your army with a second contagion. Otherwise the 3 inches does still work on his neg to your toughness little contagion he has. Uh, Herald of Nurgle, this model can be included in any Death Guard attachment without preventing other units that detach from carrying a Plague Contagion. Plague Company Contagion. This model can only carry a Plague Company Contagion if he's in the har Harboring Detachment. So if I wanted to take Mortarian's Anvil, let's say, I can still stick Typhus in there. I just can't make him the Warlord. So he can't be the Warlord to get the Contagion. He has to be in Harbingers if he wants to be the Warlord and just take the Contagion. Uh, having been there though, he still does... He, he actually says on his... Reroll, it doesn't say a friendly uh, Death Guard bracketed uh, play company, it just says friendly Death Guard core unit. So if they're core units within six inches of Typhus, they get the reroll. Uh, that's useful, but uh, yeah, he also he also buffs the Fox Wolf with the Guard of the Touching Round, but yeah, it doesn't get harboring and so that's useful. Uh, so Typhus doesn't take any, um, uh, what are they called, relics or anything like that. He can, however, take some psychic. Let's quickly go over the psychics. So it's usually there's two I'll pick for him. Oh my goodness. Where are we? Where are we? Psychic. Contagion Discipline. So Typhus... He's kind of pushed towards buffing Pox Walkers. That's just how he rolls. So when you're running him, you've either got to think to yourself, you know what, do I want to take him to do his sort of role as you push to, and that's the buff Pox Walkers, or do I want to take him for another reason? Uh, the other reason I would pick him for is if I wanted to have him there to do the work of a Lord of Contagion and a Psyker, because he gets the two Psychic abilities that the Lord of Contagion doesn't. That's where that's useful. Uh, yeah, but if you're gonna go go with him to, to buff up Pox Walkers, typically Miasma of Pestilence is a good one because you can put the Neg 1 to be hit on them. Uh, the other one is Putescent Vitality. That gives them the plus one strength and toughness. So being them toughness four normally, uh, this, this then gives them that uh, extra toughness of five. 
So they're up there with normal blade marines. Except they don't have the armor save for the actual marine. But uh, pop looks are pretty cheap, so there's no difference. If you're going to be running him in the second option I mentioned, where he's there to buff marines and stuff, Protestant for Vitality is still a good one. Uh, usually in that particular role, he'd be more up in the front, in the front line. So giving Gift of Plagues isn't a bad one either. Especially if you need something to get that little bit further range with the Contagion and then you can drop the Strat on them to give them a little bit more range and also take another Contagion. Uh, usually that turn 1 or 2, you can usually push that out to at least 12 or close to 12 inches in that way. And uh, keep in mind he also gets an extra 3 inches so if he needs it he can drop her himself for a 12 inch up right off the bike. So yeah, not too much to go with Typhus because you can't give him other options because he is named. But still, still a solid little choice. I don't mind old Typhus. Anyways, until next time. Cheerio.